speedrunning Ninja Gaiden 3, one of the hardest games of all time, because I like torturing myself like that. And we start. It's an 80% run, so I'm just going to be dashing through. Unfortunately, I didn't really practice my commentary, so excuse for silence. And merely, I wanted to run the entire trilogy. However, like a month before this started, I realized just how difficult that was, and I was best on three at the moment, so I focused on that. You don't want to go that much. I wanted to. At any point when uh, you need us or you need to focus and you want us to you know, get off your Shut back, let's yeah. know. Noted. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the lines on the ground as cues in order to time my jump. Because in this run you do not want to stop the holding left or right. Unfortunately that's not quite going well as I'm not timing my flashes properly. There we go. It's a little shaky, but I'll live with it. Now, I noticed that you're playing this on the Wii Virtual Console. Nope. That was a first. And yes, this is on Virtual Console. Uh, is there any difference between this or say if you will? The only difference is the same difference with pretty much every other Virtual Console game. It is very slightly slower. I'm mainly doing this because of the classic controller. This just feels extremely comfortable. Unfortunately, we have an auto scroller section, which is pretty low, and. Oh dear. I'm not holding down, yet I'm crouching. Oh, oh that's. That is not good. Because it causes things like that. Uh. Is the controller still doing that? Yes. I may need to reconnect it. Is this the last thing I want to happen? Uh, just a short controller death. Uh... Seems good now. It doesn't work. Pretty much. how good you're doing and size true with you anyway. This one has actually been going really badly so far aside from that issue. I feel like Kaizen Gaiden's already a thing. Well, Me personally, I never played a Gaiden game. Not even like the somewhat easier 3D one. I have never played the 3D ones, but I do hear they're tough. Not really much going on here, so I'm just going to say I think this game looks amazing for an NES title. The sprite work is absolutely Yeah, and I don't think there's any slowdown. This game did come out in 1991, the same year the Super Nintendo came out, so it's not that big of a surprise. Yeah. But still, not that much flip, sprite flickering. There's... There can be a bit of sprite flickering. But that's only if they're like a ton of bunch together. Just grab that extra life. Are there any uh, glitches or things that you're going to be making use of throughout the run? I will be making use of an exploit, so. As I've shown you, you can hang from walls like this. But you can also trigger the hang command by pressing up and A like this. Oh. So that can cancel animation. And it allows for some pretty interesting stuff. Like, my sub weapon here is supposed to have a cooldown, but with canceling, I can do that. Oh my. Uh, yeah. That wasn't too bad. Got time for a donation? Hey guys, remember that if you donate during this run, you can you you will be entered for a chance to win this wonderful print done by the lovely Michael Bonnard.
very good print. The minimum donation of $15 to win it. So remember, donate, and remember that all in all, it's for the kids. Very pretty. That was near we flawless. I'll definitely take that. Good stuff. Good. We always take those. Things. Bit shaky there. So this weapon I'm using, the vacuum wave, it's a pretty interesting weapon because it's one of the few that gives you a way of attacking below you. But depending on any, where you are and, and falling, you, you can actually use it as a way to... to how do I put this? You can have it right on top of you while you're moving around. So it can be very good for maneuvering around side corridors with enemies. What would you say your favorite weapon is? Yeah. Sub weapon. It's been going really well. Uh, did you say you have a favorite weapon or sub weapon in this game? Probably the one I'm using now, Invincibility, just because of how ridiculous it is. There's the right push ring. Ah. So I was phasing out my invincibility like that because the flames, it, they do have a hitbox that normally kills enemies, but against bosses, they take damage from it, but after just one damage, the invincibility vanishes. Ah. So yeah, I need to space it out so that way it wouldn't happen. Now this stage is interesting because of these platforms here. They are tied to the stage's timer. Yeah, and there's an interesting situation right here where the platform is not here yet. We're ahead of it. That's why I was taking my time a little bit and stopping. I don't really lose anything for doing that. Let's now just roll this enemy off. And like before we wait for the platform. Also didn't want that enemy to come behind us. Definitely jump there. So what's the story of this game? Why is Ryu high boost? Essentially, his girlfriend was killed, and he's being framed for it, and he's trying to prove his innocence. Ah. And then it turns into something ridiculous, uh, like trying to control subspace, betrayal and such. Honestly, I I don't really remember much of the plot, and I... It's a bit harsh, but I don't really care much for it. So what you're saying is, it's like almost every other NES game. Now, the thing is with Ninja Gaiden, the Ninja Gun games were one of the very few games to actually have cutscenes, though they do have much more of a story and presentation. And I do think yeah, the first two games are pretty good in terms of story, just not this one. Also, these spikes deal six damage. So yeah, I really need to avoid them, but in that one situation, I need to pick up this fire wheel, so I couldn't really do that. There we go. If I was a bit late with my flashes, then he would bury underground and I would lose like 8 to 10 seconds. Hmm. So, good thing I avoided that. Oop. Okay, so that upper right enemy uh, on the first platform there, he sometimes doesn't spawn in. When that does happen, is that jump I made is a lot easier. If he does spawn in, then the jump is a one-frame window. I mean, it feels like a one-frame window to me. Mm. My sub-weapon input didn't come out. You say it's important to make sure you keep your sub-weapon at all times. Keep myself what at all times? Your sub-weapon, sub ready. Yes. Absolutely. So if you lose it, is there any chance of like, going backwards and trying to get it or trying to die? Uh, you normally can't go back to the previous room, so sometimes you just gotta deal with it. Alright, I thought I'd There is a category for going through this game with no what sub weapons or upgrades. That doesn't sound like a fun time. That sounds fun. Yeah, it kind of is. I did practice a little bit of it in that category just, to, just in case something bad happens. Wall jumping is a little tricky to get used to. Uh, I got that. Like so the enemies they can 
spawn at slightly random positions, and right there with that spider enemy, it spawned right where I needed to jump, and I didn't have any way of taking care of it, so I had to wait. Now I'm going to take a bit of a detour for the sake of health. I can probably do it without the detour, but I don't want to take chances. Okay, this one's a little tricky. Yeah, that's how good the vacuum wave can be. Wow. There is a really interesting quick kill you can do with this guy where you just abuse the vacuum wave over and over, but I'm not very good at it, unfortunately. That was so good. good. Hey, he's still dead. Yeah. No, I heard that after every single run, Mark just runs around the ball. That's, that's how you practice inside it. The only real ninja actually plays inside it. Sandstrom is there. I'll live. <laughs> Sorry, my throat's a bit sore. I think I can make it through this far with a bit less health. It's gonna be a bit tricky though because the next boss has some really bad RNG. Uh, yeah, I'm not chancing this. The, the boss's main attack is very RNG based and sometimes I just won't be able to dodge it. That's just me having bad accuracy. What NES Sprite do you think we're climbing on right now? What NES Sprite do you think we're climbing on right now? I don't know. Oh yeah, I didn't make it clear, but your movement is extremely slow in on this floor. <laughs> that was a misinput. I meant to use the vacuum device there. No worries, this game is very... Difficult and... No. What well, people aren't realizing, his class controller is connected to a Wii. So inputs are not going to be very. Useful. They it's usually are, actually. Fit input, but. The thing is, I practice most of this on a PS. <coughs> I practice most of this on a PS3 controller, and it's pretty different. I can imagine. Yeah, the sub weapon inputs are very different. This is not very good because I have no lives left, and if I die, I go back to 6-1. Oh, oh. Yeah, this game's brutal with its checkpoint system. <laughs> to make matters worse, if you didn't notice when I got game over earlier, you have a limited amount of continue. You get five. Lose all of them, back to the start. Jesus. The Japanese version was not like that. In fact, the American version is much harder. Which is weird because usually the Japanese version is harder. Yeah! My guess is it's because Ninja Gaiden gained such a reputation of being so hard in the West. And so when the developers decided to tone it down, the Americans were like, hell no. <laughs> Oop, yeah, I could not dodge that. There we go. Also, you sink, so you sink, so you can actually die after beating the boss. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, we're on the final act, and because I have no lives left, I am not going to chance dying and get a game over right here. So that way, I'm not sent so far back. Okay, then. True safety, then. Take this. Of a 
couple in one there, but we're going. And here's our invincibility. So we need to take this all the way to the end. And unlike every other stage before this, there are three sections. Oh, okay. So that's that many more chances for me to screw up. I am going to be quiet for this. That's another example of this controller messing me up. No worries. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to step and one. It's still early on, so I haven't lost much time. That seems a little dangerous, but put it on a lot of walls. It can protect you from nightmares. I am probably not gonna finish this in 20 minutes at this rate. Alright, just keep going. Yeah. You do your best for the kids, that's all that matters. For the kids. For the kids. Okay, we'll pass on the harder part. I struggle that, a lot with that particular that room. Impressive. Okay. Now, that red item I picked up, it fills up my ammunition, but that's unnecessary because we just got another one. I don't get that place. I was going to pick up this health here. And you're about to see why I really wanted that invincibility. Fight. 7 3 is riddled with spice. If you don't have this, then just, this turns into a giant stop and go game. To give you a frame of reference, when I was first, the first time I played this game and I was going through this stage, I actually ran out, ran out the timer. Oh, wow. And that's the only time that happened for me in the series. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous without this. Fortunately, with invincibility, it's really not that bad. Although, this part does give me a little bit of trouble. Okay. We're past all the hard parts until we get to the final boss. Nice. Okay, so we have three parts to the final boss. The first part is a little troublesome. Okay, he's down. Look! I screwed up my slashes there. Still got that. Like I said, there are three parts to the final boss. This is the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh dear. Woo! I almost died there. Hey then. Okay, so time is coming up is not when the final boss dies, is when the next screen fades to black. I will say time it to make it clear. Okay, so after the boss dies, the screen fades to black. Okay, not yet. Let's go. Oh, uh, I think 
that was sub 20 as well. I think that was sub 20. Just made it. Hey, let's go. Good stuff. I can at least be happy about that. What happened? Like, for reference, my PB is 1438, and that's even with like, a couple of deaths in there. Yeah. So this was a pretty mediocre run for me. You know what? Marathon. Yeah. Marathon luck. For the kids, Mark. Mm -hmm. At least I got to experience it. Fun fact, in the original version, this white flash was actually way brighter. They toned it down in virtual consoles, so that way they can avoid seizures. I think that's an understandable Glad reason. Glad they're yeah. and stuff like that. This is not the, this isn't even the only flashing within the game. 